Okay, hello. Hi, everyone. So for today, uh, for this hour, you will learn about chapter 6 polynomials, uh, subtopic 6.3 partial fractions. Okay, it is a very fun and easy part. So let's focus and stay tuned. Uh, let's look at our learning objective for this lecture. Okay, by the end of the lesson, you should able to construct partial fractions decomposition when the denominators are in the form of one linear factor ax plus b for example and next one is repeated linear factor you have ax plus b in the bracket power of n okay so you should able to construct the partial fractions depending on its denominator Okay, did you remember what is denominator? It is at, at the bottom of our uh, K. So, what is our denominator? Okay, if you have fraction, at the bottom is our denominator and your top is our numerator. So, we will focus on this one, denominator. Alright? Let's continue with our 6.3 partial fractions. Okay, let's read this one. Two or more proper fractions can be combined to give a single fraction. Okay, so you can see here this is our single fraction. Okay, you combine by using the plus and minus there. Okay, next one. Equally, a single fraction can be expressed as a sum a difference of two or more algebraic fractions for example okay here you have the single fraction here okay you use plus okay so what is 1 over 3 and 2 over 5 it is known as partial fractions of 11 over 5 so your 11 over 5 is your single fraction there Okay, so the green one is our partial fractions. So that means that partial fraction you have more than one fractions uh, that you will either use sum or difference. Okay, so next, uh, let's stop the highlight. Okay, for example, we have uh, our next example here. Okay, you have uh, example two x minus 6 over x bracket x minus 2 is equal to 3 over x all right and minus 2 over x minus 2 so what is this two these two fractions are known as partial fractions of x minus 6 over x x minus 2 so what is partial fractions it is a uh, more than one fractions and you combine it at a use plus or negative that's what we are going to build we want to construct our partial fractions. Okay, let's look at the definition of partial fractions. Okay, a fraction can be expressed or decomposed as the sum of two or more separate fraction. Okay, express or decompose. So, partial fractions ini adalah sebenarnya you punya uh, this one. This is your punya partial fractions. That what we call either it is your uh, sum or minus so this is called as partial fractions and here what is our main summary for this part is you um, please focus on the denominator of a proper fractions okay denominator as I said here so this one is your okay let's use the pen this one is your denominator Okay, so we will look at our denominator uh, in order for us to know what step we are going to use. Okay, for example, you have type 1 here, linear factor, type 2, repeated linear factor, and type 3, quadratic factor. So, for today, we will focus on type 1, okay, linear factor, and type 2, repeated linear factor in order for us to solve the the partial fractions all right okay let's continue with type 1 we will focus on linear factors in the denominator okay let's say you have qx here it's a product of linear factors where qx is equal to ax x a1x plus b1 bracket a2x plus b2 and so on until a r 
x plus br. Okay, how did you know it is linear? Okay, it is linear because it is x power of 1 there. Okay, so it is called as linear factors. Okay, thus we have a fraction where you have a p uh, equation p x as the numerator. Okay, here is your numerator and you have q x as your denominator. Okay, which each of them is linear factors. Okay, so we can express them as the combination of one by one as we know this is what we call our partial fractions okay where you separate the linear factors there okay you separate the linear factors there okay where what we need to do is for us to find what is a b c which is our constants so that's what we are going to do in our uh, topic for today Okay, guys, uh, let's focus here. For example, you have question x plus 5 over x minus 4 x plus 6. Okay, as you can see here, you have linear there, your first linear factor. Alright, so this is linear factor. This is also linear factor. So, your first thing is actually you have to separate them and use the constant. You can just write that them one by one in as linear factor with a constant a over the first linear factor plus co another constant which is we notated by b over the second linear factor okay so here is our first step all right so, so this is our first step to start our uh, partial fractions okay next we look at a uh, second example you have 7x minus 4 over x plus 3 bracket x minus 5 so here this is our linear factor and this is also linear factor you can just easily uh, easily use a and the next one is another constant we notated by b okay that is your first step for us to solve to start our partial fractions when the denominator in form of linear factor okay uh, linear factor all right okay guys so now let's continue to learn how you can find the a and b okay as we know that earlier we did rewrite the equation okay depend uh, according to the linear factors okay as you can see here the linear factors on the yellow one so on the top at the at the numerator you write as the constants following a and b so now we want to find the value of a and b okay class let's continue this is the equation okay this is the equation the the white color okay as you can see here for a and b it has different denominator so in order for us to find a and b we will multiply both top and bottom with another linear factor okay as you can see here you already have x minus 4 so you will multiply with another linear factor which is let's come from the original denominator is it is x plus 6 top and bottom and here x minus 4 top and bottom so what we do what we do here okay for this one you just uh, because we already uh, multiply with uh, one another so you will end up with the same denominator as the original question as you can see here so just multiply at the denominator uh, at the numerator okay as we have the same all right as you have the same uh, denominator on the left hand side and on the right hand side okay so end up you can compare the numerator there okay so you can compare the numerator so our our next uh, step is equal x plus 5 equal to a bracket x plus 6 plus b bracket x minus 4 okay guys this is not the answer this is just one step further all right the step to start 
Okay. Okay, next. Let's look at uh, another example. Okay, you have 7x minus 4 over x plus 5, bracket x minus 5. So, you have, you separate them into 2. A over the first linear factor plus B over x minus 5. Okay, guys, here we will always use plus. Okay, you, you will always use plus positive there. Okay, I like here. We will always use positive tambah kat situ. Okay. So, uh, but the final answer not always be positive. It depends on our calculation. Okay. So, we multiply with another linear factor, top and bottom. So, your n will end up with the same denominator on the left hand side and on the right hand side. So, next step, you can compare the numerator okay so you get the uh, the one inside the green box okay this is for the step for you to start for us to find a and b this is not the final answer yet okay it's good enough